Ooh, it was always going to be contentious. A multi-million dollar Hollywood adaptation of what is undoubtedly one of the most widely acclaimed graphic novels and certainly one of the most deviant and unrestrained in existence. Of course, the, uh, the principal danger of any such project is that the original source material will end up so diluted and synthesised that much of its original appeal and significance will be lost. Fortunately, I'm very, very happy to report that Watchmen seems to be one of those that has sidestepped this rather lamentable effect. Taking uh, the movie as a piece of cinema first and foremost, it is an incredibly brave piece of work. The violence, though exquisitely uh, stylized and choreographed, is also brutal and extremely graphic in a manner reminiscent of films such as Fight Club or the film adaptation of American Psycho, as opposed to the comic book movies to which it will inevitably be compared, such as The X-Men or even The Dark Knight. Also, something that it incredibly surprised me, so the, um, the naturalistic nudity of certain characters, such as Dr. Manhattan, for example, has been uh, maintained. It is not uh, in any particular way gratuitous. It's, uh, there's no specific attention drawn to the fact that he is uh, naked for the most part. It just, it's just um, a natural factor of his character, and it's not something that is shied away from or censored, which surprised me quite pleasantly. There is also um, an iconic sex scene that I'm sure most fans of the, uh, the, gra the graphic novel will, will know what I'm talking about here. Uh, that, if anything, is even more overt and explicit in the movie than it is in the uh, in the graphic novel. There is um, a minor bone of contention with this. It actually plays more like um, a raunchy, gratuitously um, erotic scene, whereas in the graphic novel, it's it, it's presented in a more somewhat sentimental uh, fashion. Philosophically speaking, the movie does for superhero films what the original graphic novel did for superhero comics. Though inevitably a great many details have been pruned away or refined, uh, the essential deviance and satirization of comic book conventions remains largely intact. Uh, the novel's uh, scathing socio-political commentaries and ponderings on issues such as morality, etc. are also largely intact. Although the uh, manners in which they are communicated are largely different. The most notable uh, example of this is, of course, the movie's conclusion, which is, without giving too much away, significantly different from the graphic novels. But the essential spirit of what is being communicated remains. There is nothing in the movie that significantly alters the specific uh, messages within the graphic novel, which I think was one of the biggest uh, bones of contention for long-term fans before the movie came out. There is something at the very end of the film that did bother me minutely. It's a very, very small issue, and that is there, is, there seems to be some attempt to ameliorate everything that has gone before. Every, everything that has gone before is rather harsh, apocalyptic, generally negative. Um, and yet the ending has a slightly upbeat note, uh, a hopefulness, a looking forward, that is less ambiguous than it appears to be in the graphic novel. There is a, a huge question mark over the end of the graphic novel, it seems to me, whereas the movie tries to paint things in a more deliberately hopeful light. Not to such an extent that it dilutes everything that has gone before, but what it reminded me of more than anything are the, en are the endings of some of Hal Alfred Hitchcock's films, such as Rope and Rear Window, where the conclusions seem to jar somewhat with the, uh, the, to the overall tone of the rest of the film. But that's that. It's a very, very, very minor concern, and I imagine that was the um, the one peon paid to the um, studio executives and and whatnot. Uh, it's uh, a bone thrown to uh, main, the conventions of mainstream cinema. I suppose it has to have one, doesn't it? 
In fact, the uh, the tone of the closing scene seems so far removed from the tone of the rest of the film. One might be forgiven for thinking that the filmmakers might be indulging in a wee bit of uh, Alan Moore-esque irony. I must make a specific note of the acting in this film. By and large, the performances are quite stunning. Like nothing you will ever see in... Uh, what is ostensibly termed a, a superhero film, uh, with the possible exceptions of similarly um, ironic work such as The Dark Knight, which, like Watchmen, uh, pokes fun, really, at um, superhero conventions. Of particular note is uh, Rorschach, always my favourite character from the, uh, the comic, the graphic novel. The actor who plays him invests him with such an incredible degree of psychopathy. And I don't know whether it was deliberate or not, but he is very, very reminiscent of uh, Christian Bale's performance of Batman in the uh, the Batman Begins films. And of course, as we all know, Alan Moore, the, uh, the writer of Watchmen, has always maintained that Rorschach is simply Batman taken to his logical extreme. The only possible bum note is uh, Silk Spectre, the younger. Although she's um, she's fairly adequate, there is a there is absolutely nothing particularly wrong with her performance. It just lacks the flair, that X factor that the other performances have. It just doesn't seem as distinct somehow. But. A very, 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 very small failing indeed. Visually, the film is one of the most arresting I've ever seen. There are parts of it that are beautiful, beyond comprehension. Even the uh, the scenes of gratuitous violence and bodily mutilation are so exquisitely shot and choreographed that... It leaves you somewhat unsettled. You know that what you're seeing is hideous and violent, yet at the same time it is beautiful. Which is a wonderful conceit. I rather appreciate that. Many of these specific shots are also framed to um, echo the panels within the original comic book. You will find a plethora of compositions that are lifted directly from the comic book itself. Despite one or two very, very, very minor flaws, the film is undoubtedly a cinematic triumph. It will be echoed and imitated ad nauseum over the next half a decade, I imagine. And um, like the original graphic novel, it is something that is at once new and familiar. It takes conventions that we're all familiar with and lampoons them to such a degree that it's quite unsettling. Which is a wonderful effect for any piece of mainstream cinema to achieve. Is it not? <laughs>